Welcome to sunny Southern California. I just wanted to take a minute, show you my front yard. <laughs> it's March 3rd in San Diego. There's my magic bag and my rolling cart. But I just wanted to just show you what I did in the back of my car, just to show you what I do to get in and out to shows quickly. Notice I built a table in there. I just got some table legs and built a table and then I put a cover on the top of it. So what this enables me to do is here on the top, I put um, all of my airbrush uh, tables, chairs. Um, I put the rolling cart on top. I slide my bag in there on the left and on the right, I slide in all of the airbrush equipment. Uh, the bag, the display board, all of my airbrush stuff, the CO2 tanks. So everything I need to go in and do airbrush face painting, magic, and balloons all fits into the back of my, my Outback here. One little area, right? And I designed that so that it, I don't have to think about it. I stick it in, it goes in there every time, I pull it out, I have everything I need. So let's just take a look at my magic bag real quick. You see, it's a hard-bound piece of luggage. That's all it is. I made it black because it's a, a magic bag. And you notice I don't have any coloration or anything on it because I don't really want um, the kids to give any energy on that part. Once it's set up, you'll see the sign. That looks great. Um, I've got big pieces of Velcro on one side. That's where I hang my sign. On the other side, uh, let's see if I can show it to you. Here it is. See how I've got the arrow? <laughs> That's the thing that magicians do, right? I do that so I don't have to think about how to put it on my uh, on the right side up. I always know how to put it on the right side up. So give me just a second here to pop it up on my uh, rolling cart and I'll show you what it looks like inside. Okay, so this would be behind me, right? This is backstage. I'm gonna be standing in front of this and the audience is gonna be out on the grass, all right? So you notice that I uh, cut a PVC pipe uh, to fit to hold my uh, half of my uh, luggage up so that I can get into my bag okay. And you'll notice I have compartments that I built in here, okay? So the first thing I did was I built a long skinny compartment because I need to um, mainly start it out so that I could have uh, my juggling pins in there have a long enough piece of juggling pins but then when i got my show sign um that works in there i have actually three or four different pops that fit inside there oops see what i've got here i've got a set list for my last show so i don't have to think about it all right so um and I, you know it's nothing special but you'll see that i took a piece of wood i literally took a piece of wood uh, I drilled some holes in the luggage. Let me see if I can get up here to show that to you. I drilled some holes in the luggage right here. I drilled some holes in the luggage right here so that I could tie this piece of wood in so that it would stay there. And that gave me a separate compartment. Then after that, I created some boxes, right? I created a box to hold my, this is a, uh, a die box that's about a $400 piece of equipment so I like to protect it this is where I've got lots of stuff inside here um, I got lots of stuff inside here and the reason uh, that I like this is for my smaller stuff I have a little lid that flaps onto there this is uh, a change bag that can go anywhere this down here is the box that holds my um, Rubik's Cube trick. That's a $300, $400 trick. $450 actually. But that's the box that came in. So I put some Velcro on it and had a little strap. A piece of balloon from the card and balloon last game, last show. This is my microphone for my sound system. And there's a whole other set of stuff back here, including uh, juggling balls and stuff like that back here. Okay. Inside this half is a whole nother set of stuff. Things that pack flat like... Uh, you know, even I have a magic coloring book that's in there, but I also have linking rings, I have juggling rings, I have a, uh, the appearing boxes out of a paper bag. I have, so I have a whole bunch of stuff in here uh, in two different zippers, all right? So in this one bag, I can carry uh, probably three 45 minutes shows worth of equipment because I believe pack small, play big, right? Pack small, play big. Um, and uh, that's what I do. So I'll show you real quick how my sign works. Um, 
and then I'll be done with showing you this part. Okay, so the reason I use this little board is that my show sign is just a little bit too wide for my bag, um, and I can't cut it down without cutting off the words. So I built this little piece of equipment that just Velcros onto the flat. It makes it nice and flat. And then you see I have the Velcro pieces uh, that connects the sign uh, to it. Now, let me just show you here. These two pieces of board are connected by red duct tape, right? Nothing exciting, just red duct tape. Um, but I did tape on either side and it's lasted me for two or three years now. Okay, there's my vinyl show sign. Uh, you see how it Velcro's right up there? I bought that sign off a site called Vista Print, where you just make up the sign, send it to you, and they'll send you a vinyl sign. Uh, I think it cost me 30 or $40 at the most, and all of a sudden I have a full magic so kit. Right? I will operate kind of with this off to the left of me, as you can see in some of my videos, um, but it gives me that impression that once I'm set up, a magic show is happening, right? And that's the whole, part of the whole idea of being a magician is acting like a magician and looking like a magician. So consider this setup, this kind of setup, so that you give a staging to what you're doing. All right? Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, go ahead and take a look at my first uh, bit, my opener. Have a great day.